artifacts of Mars. And here's a Religion of Pieces update. Uh, this is from just Detroit Free Press. University of Michigan student told police in November that a man threatened her to set her high job on fire. Uh, but it turns out she made the whole story up. This was reported as a hate crime. During a statement to, from the Ann Arbor Police Department, detectives worked along with the University of Michigan Division of Public Safety and the FBI to investigate a case which had been classified as ethnic intimidation. Investigators concluded witness interviews and multiple and reviewed multiple surveillance videos of the area in question. Department said during the course of the investigation, numerous inconsistencies in the statements provided by the alleged victim were identified. Following a thorough investigation, detectives have determined the incident in question did not occur. So she lied. This has become a commonplace thing uh, with more minorities and so-called oppressed people to make things like this up. Student has not been publicly identified by police, but investigators said complete investigation will be submitted to the Washington County Prosecutor's Office for review according to the release. Student initially claimed the incident happened on November 11th when a man allegedly demanded that she remove her hair job, a headscarf often worn by Muslim women, or be set on fire with lighter. Woman told police she complied during a crime alert from the university's Division of Public Safety. The university in time called the hate crimes that off campus incident occurred on six hundred block of East William near State Street. After the incident, the Michigan chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations called for an incident to be investigated as a hate crime, saying the legend of attack is just the latest anti Muslim incident reported since the election of Donald Trump for president. So they go blaming Donald Trump for it. A student made the report during a post election increase in reports of threats, intimidation, and racially charged violence across the country. So there you have it. This is an example of, in this case, somebody from the religion of pieces faking a so-called hate crime. I would, if you're out to me, that whole category would be eliminated. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.